reporting live from Saks Fifth Avenue, Boca Raton, in the Town Center Mall. Actually, during Tropical Storm Etta. It is wet out there. Totally, but good news is it's dry in here, but raining. So many fun sales. So we would encourage you to join us this week at Saks. Mm -hmm. Check it out. And all of the holiday decor is up, and it's just putting me in that holiday spirit. It is. It's so festive and fun. We're really excited. Which really is a nice segue into our November month, our Friendsgiving. Yes, we've got a lot of actually exciting things coming up this month. And just looking back, we hope that everyone had the chance to receive the Sustainer Scoop newsletter. So here we are now sending out videos, texts, emails, and newsletters. So if you're not getting the information one way or another, you've got to let us know, please. Um, we will be sending out our next newsletter after the new year, and we will keep you informed of all of the goings on from January through the end of the year. Correct. So Absolutely. look forward to that. Definitely. So monthly via email, and then certainly snail mail again in January. Yes, and we are just so grateful with the month of November and all things to be grateful and happy about. So first and foremost, thank you to Saks Fifth Avenue and General Manager Heather Shaw. Absolutely for once again stepping up and being our fashion show sponsor for the 33rd annual Women Volunteer of the Year event, which as we all know this year is virtual, but nonetheless going to be tons of fun. And fabulous. I fabulous. Yes. yes. And I, I mean, Sarah and I are joining a group of friends for a watch party, so we will be dressing up and we look forward to that opportunity to actually do that for okay, Absolutely. And I'm going to go downstairs after this little session and see what I can find. I haven't in quite some time. Right. So forward to that. Absolutely, ditto. So one other quick opportunity we wanted to share with everybody is um, a quick congratulations again to our office manager, Marcy, for her two-year work anniversary with the Junior League of Boca Raton. So thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Marcy, for always putting a smile on my face. Absolutely, and being so helpful all the time. Always. And we're so happy that you're back in the office three days a week with us really exciting so um, if you have an opportunity to reach out and say thank you and congratulations we would encourage you to do that as well absolutely yeah. so that all being said lisa what do we have going on what's happening oh my goodness what isn't happening oh my gosh seriously we're mixing and mingling is what we have going on so no shortage of that good time happening both in a virtual capacity and in person yes absolutely so one of the fun things that we um kind of debut, right? Yeah. Yes. This month is our Zoom event. So yes. Sarah, share that with us. So we had so much fun on our Zoom bingo night. Our Zoom events will be held on the first Tuesday of each month from six to eight. We had a handful of wonderful sustainers joining and playing bingo and just kind of connecting in a way that they felt comfortable and safe in doing. Um, lots of fun. We played a couple of games and we had some winners. We had some winners, yes. Yeah. So you two winners um, expect a small little gift coming very soon in the mail. Oh, very exciting. I mean, who doesn't love bingo? It was a lot of fun. And it was junior league bingo. Which is even better. Yes. Learning, sharing, all that fun stuff. Yeah, it was a great time. And now, coming up for our December Zoom, the very generous and expert gift wrapping sustainer, Renee, has offered her time to host a gift wrapping and packaging event. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, if you have not seen one of Renee Fader's expertly packaged gifts, you are missing out. So the fact that she's going to share some of those tips and tricks of the trade, I am all in. So I have registered for that already and I cannot wait for that event. Same. Yes, she's going to teach us how to wrap and put the finishing touches on anything from shirt boxes to wine bottles, which I've never wrapped a wine bottle, so. No, it's fun that she thinks it could actually last that long in the wrapping, but you know, yeah. it's a nice gift giving up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. And maybe even Tiffany bills. Oh my gosh, well I'm all in, Sarah. So I hope you guys are too. There are limited spots available for the Zoom event, so if that's really something you're interested in, please be sure to email us. The details are in the, the email below. Um, secure your spot so we can make sure to send you a link for that amazing event. Yes, and thank you again, Renee Fader, for so generously volunteering to do that. Absolutely. Thank you. 
So our socially, our drive-in socially distanced happy hours at the Grill on Congress have been a real hit. Oh my, how fun was our Halloween theme? Oh my god. Drive-in. Hats off to everybody who came and participated. We had some amazing trunks decorated for that event. Really, I have to say, um, the star, the pop-up Starbucks bar was really incredible. Uh, incredible. And the one that took us out of town was the uh, literally, literally, no pun, no pun intended. Literally, was the um, Apple Bar Air. Yes. Trunk, which yes. actually put us all on a plane for the first time, thankfully, in many, many months. That was a lot of fun, and hopefully we can get a little clip of what that entailed into our newsletter. So if it's in there, check it out. It Absolutely. Yes, there's going to be a fun little video down below, so make sure you take and click on that if you haven't seen it already. It was good. Yes. Lots of fun, lots of great drinks. Thank you, Susie, Real on Congress, for letting us share such a wonderful evening and for all of the complimentary cocktails and um, or there was, yes, yeah. yeah, it was really, and your staff, amazing. So thank you. thank you. Most importantly at that event, it was all treats, not drinks. So we were able to raise 1,950 diapers for our diaper bank. So thank you ladies for yes. being a part of that. And that was really, it's crucial, the diaper bank right now, especially during the pandemic, the outreach that we're doing with that. So, so meaningful. Yeah, your participation in that is critical and we're just so grateful for it. So thank you again. And, um, and in keeping with supporting our community and hosting safe and um, responsible mix and mingles for the new year. We're looking for some new opportunities, maybe another restaurant. Um, so if you know of anybody or you own a restaurant and would love to have the support of the Junior League Sustainers, let us know. Reach out to us, please. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Yeah. And um, we will be uh, driving in for our next one at the Grill on Congress on November 17th. Oh my, that's going to be a lot of fun. So a little Friendsgiving, and one of the fun things we were hoping to share at that one was bring your favorite thing or service or activity from the local community that you love. Let's share it with each other and try to give back and support our local community where we can. Yeah, absolutely. Come prepared with your ideas, ready to share with all of us. And again, more details are contained in the email below. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Really exciting stuff. I just, you know, so many, I, so many, so many great things, things to be grateful. For. Absolutely. Uh, moving into one of our exciting events coming up in the spring is our 50th anniversary of the Junior League of Boca Raton, and we have four amazing women who are chairing that effort, and we're so grateful for them. So Debbie and Liz and Nancy and Kristen. Um, thank you yes. for making this all happen for us because we you. do not want to let that milestone go by without a significant celebration and many ways to reflect upon all of the service we have given to the community over the last five decades. So thank you ladies for putting that together. One of the cool things that was debuted at our drive-in event last month was our new 50th anniversary magnet. I mean, that is really something. So, that was adorable. And for sale. So, Sarah, I know this adorns your car. It adorns my car. Several ladies purchased one of those. The link is in the email below if you're interested. I think it's what? Um, $8, 7 or $8? Dollars. Five, five, maybe eight five. Dollars. Yeah, something. But anyway, it's under 10 so. Correct. Yes. I know. Absolutely. So we would encourage you to grab one of those in celebration of the anniversary. Absolutely. Well, switching gears once again, we are going to be calling all sustainers um, to action. Yes. We are still in need of more phone tree volunteers. Uh, Lisa and I have a number of sustainers that we would love to get in contact with and make sure that you know they're involved and receiving all of the information and able to attend those events that they're able. And in doing so, we would love to have more phone tree volunteers to help us make some calls. It's a small obligation, but it would be greatly appreciated. So if you've got some time once a week to make 10 or 12 calls just to check in with sustainers, we would greatly appreciate it. We love that support, yes, thank you. And many thanks to all of the ladies who have already volunteered to do so. We appreciate your support. Yes. Um, also, one of our amazing sustainer uh, superstars and very talented women, um, Luann Warner-Prokos, 
owner of Warner Pro Post Photography, has um, partnered with the Junior League and the Sustainers specifically for some holiday and family photo shoot sessions. So anything booked by our uh, wonderful members through a very lovely, um, generous package offered to our members to secure, percentage of that goes back to the Junior League. Yeah, very generous. Really great. And obviously we all want to capture our um, we want to capture our amazing uh, families during this time and share it with everybody, certainly, to connect. Absolutely. So thank you, Lou Ann. We had a fun friend joining us. He was actually waiting for his life while she was shopping, and he took a seat. So he's actually been a part of hearing our broadcast right now, yes. which has been fun. So, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. From Rhode Island, small world. And you Not know. too far from where my in laws live. So listen, this job has all sorts of surprises. One never knows who sits on the couch across the so true. Yeah. Really fun. So um, in the vein of giving back yet again, yes. Well, of course our time, which we do so generously, we have a couple really great opportunities to do that. And yes. that is within the community organized by our amazing Gun in a Day committee through the Junior League. And some of those are um, benefiting local charities right now during the holiday time. Right. And we know, based on our survey monkey results, that a lot of sustainers want volunteer opportunities. And let's present a few options that they have right now. Let's do it. Yeah. One of the, um, the one of the ones that are most timely right now is the Thanksgiving in a Box. So that is a uh, event that allows the Junior League to sign up to put together boxes of Thanksgiving meals for families in need. It benefits Boca Helping Hand. Yep. Those activities are organized and all the details are contained um, by the Junior League. So if that's something you're interested in, we'll let you know how to get involved in that in a little bit. That's right, and we know now that the Spirit of Giving ornaments uh, for the Spirit of Giving Toy Drive are now at the Junior League office. So those are ready to be picked up and it's just a wonderful, wonderful organization that provides toys, a toy drive yeah. for children that might otherwise not have holiday gifts. One of the largest in our community. Yeah. So that's always a fun one too for me because I take the kids with and get them involved and have been doing that since they were younger and they really have enjoyed the chance to know what that is, what it does, where it goes. So it just doesn't have to be something you do. You can also encourage your family to get involved as well. And another opportunity, which also could include your children or um, high school students looking for some hours, is the George Snow Scholar Care Package uh, drive. Yes, yes, yes. So they do a really fun, well, first of all, they're collecting all of our Halloween candy we don't want to keep around the house and eat, so that's always fun. But then secondly, they do ask you to put together a cookie baking opportunity and they give you directions on that and then also to accompany that, some handwritten notes to the scholars to encourage them to continue to move forward with their studies and to have a good holiday and all that really good work. thoughtful, kind yes. gesture, I think, that any college student Appreciate. Correct. And they've worked double time, I think, to help the students this year because it's such a strange environment to yeah. be a college student. Um, and so those messages of encouragement are probably really important again this year. Always appreciated. Absolutely. And so finally, we have uh, Diaper Bank. Do you want to talk a little bit about Diaper Bank and Absolutely. also maybe the Diaper Bank distribution for sustainers that we're going to Absolutely. Right. So our diaper bank, as we all know, is one of the largest in the Tri-County area. It distributes, I think, to over 90 agencies uh, total. So we raised millions of diapers since its, it's since its inception to get those back out into the community. Um, one of the really fun opportunities as a volunteer with the Junior League is to be able to attend a distribution event. So that's when you can go to the actual diaper bank storage facility and be a part of the volunteer action of getting those diapers out of inventory that we've collected and into the hands of all the charities. And that is so impactful and what an incredible way to see the entire cycle go round and round. So 
Sarah and I are hopefully working with Margie Cross to put together a day that sustainers are able to give back in that capacity in person. And then any of the other events we talked about, if that's of interest to you, of course you can always reach out to Sarah and myself or you can email um, diad at jlbr.org and express your intent to get involved in one of those. They can give you some more uh, details about how to do that. Absolutely. Yeah, very exciting. Great. I know. Well, moving on to sustainers on the move. Absolutely. This month, we would like to congratulate Betsy Fletcher. Betsy is the chairperson for History Alive, a campaign by the Boca Raton Historical Society and Museum to update and build new exhibits for the town hall. Absolutely. Very exciting. It's amazing. And, and I've heard that's in um, a very um, impressive and aggressive capital campaign goal that they've made a lot of progress with. Absolutely. They're at the $2,900,000 mark. Wow. Well, that's so, a little yeah, effort wow. sustainer on the move when you're leading that. I know. I know. Seriously. Impressive. That's very impressive. I did hear, um, and I have had occasion to talk with Betsy over the years, she's been very involved with the Historical Society, both as a past president, a board member, um, obviously a chair of various initiatives, and she's very committed to preserving history in Boca Raton. One of the really cool things that connects that all together, of course, Betsy is a sustainer, but I don't know how many of you know, but the Boca Raton Historical Society was a project of the Junior Service League back in 1972. It was one of our original projects, and it was our goal to preserve Old Town Hall, which ironically, the campaign that they're raising money for right now is designed to enhance. So all the new designs that they're gonna roll out with the money that they're raising, basically will utilize and reconfigure the space of Town Hall and the exhibits that are documented there and um, help them with the historical growth of the city because we're obviously moving leaps and bounds from where we all started in Boca Raton many, 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 many moons ago oh, that to is so true. the kind of modern international city that it is today. So, hats really off. exciting. Hats, hats, hats off, off Betsy. Betsy. Yes, thank you so much okay. for your commitment to that project and to our community. And ladies, keep the nominations coming. We love to highlight women that are doing incredible things above and beyond the call of duty and outside of the junior league and just being a sustainer, right. which is no small thing. It's no small thing, my no, friend. That is so right. great. So keep them coming. And for that, we say happy Friendsgiving to all of you. We wish you well, a very happy, safe, and healthy Thanksgiving holiday. We look forward to coming back to see you again in December uh, in our e-newsletter and hopefully see you at some of the events coming up, both Absolutely. virtually and in person. That's right. So thank you. Stay well. Thank you, Sachs, once again. And see you soon, my friend. See you soon, my friend.